<laughs> Yo, the clear container has been dropping for years. And I'd have just spent all this money on these containers. And then they just gonna come out and release the black ones. Bruh, are you serious? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the DNA show, y'all. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you are old to the channel, drop a comment down below. Let me know what's up, how your day been, how your week been, how your life been. Tell me what's good down below in the comment sections. And if you don't know already, my name is DJ. You can hit me on Instagram and let me know more about how you feel and send me photos of your collection. I wanna see your sneaker container collections and I'll repost them on a video next time. So go ahead and send me a DM on Instagram with some photos and uh, I'll make sure I shout you out in the next video as well. So let's get into this topic because, oh, oh boy, I have a lot to say about this one. The clear containers came out, been out, the black containers just came out, literally just came out right after the Memorial Day sale. And I know a bunch of people that spent a bunch of money to get a discount. Yes, they got a discount, the 25, was it 25% off, something like that, I don't know. So I mean, hey, as you see, I filled out the rest of my wall with some of those containers as well. I bought about like four or five, six packs of those. So I spent some money as well, um, but I definitely seen a lot of people buy hundreds of containers and then come to find out a week later, after the sale, they released the black ones. And people are like, what do I do now? Cause they didn't already put them up on display, did all their things, took their pics for the Instagram, they feeling good. And then they dropped the black ones and everybody's like, damn, I'm trying to protect my shoes. I wish I wasn't as much light coming into there. So we're gonna hit the lab. We're gonna go to the studio. We're gonna break these two down. I'm gonna show y'all the differences between the two. We're gonna get a little bit more in depth and then, I'm gonna let y'all know what I think about these because <laughs> I had to buy some black ones too just cause, well I think I probably just bought them for the video for y'all but let's just go to the lab. <sighs> okay, so let's get to this. So obviously you guys can see the difference between the two. We have clear and we have black. Now I wanna touch on a couple things and determine which one is better and first thing that we want to talk about is the front of the case now you can see it has a clear case here and a clear case here so no matter what whatever you say light will always come in through the front of the case now the sides the other one two three four five sides of the case this side will probably not show any light and we're gonna assume that this side will show light so let's go ahead and test the GoPro method we'll take this GoPro right here we're gonna stick the GoPro inside the case in both cases, shine the light over them, and then see how much light is brought in through the case just from sitting in the room to kind of get a better understanding on how much light is truly coming into these cases. So after looking at that, you can obviously see this one is bringing in some light and this one is bringing in no light at all. But like we said before, the problem is there's gonna be light coming in through the front of the container. So looking at the two, obviously you can tell the clear one did bring in more light and I was actually very surprised the black one didn't bring in any light at all. I thought it would bring in just a little bit, but there was nothing from there. So that is a big factor for a lot of people to help you decide which one you think is better, the clear or the black. I mean, personally, like I said, you're still gonna receive light from the front of the containers. If this one had a black lid on it, that would be kind of cool because then it no light at all, right? But then again, you can't see the shoe. So it's a part of like, you wanna display the sneaker, but yet again, you wanna protect the sneaker. So which one is the best, right? So I don't know, I mean, it's really kinda of up to you guys. Let's go to the voting and let's see what the people said on Instagram. So there you have it, those are the results. What do you guys think about them? Me personally, I probably would've still rocked with the clear, but I can see why people like the black one. It's a new thing, it's a hot thing, everybody wants it right now. But me personally, I'm rocking with the clear, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that later when we get back to the collection. But for right now, let's talk a couple more things about the boxes and everything. So the boxes are very identical. They are the exact same. The only thing that is different is the color. They have the container store logo on the top of the box, 
They have the same front drop down lid. They have the same dimensions, the same specs. Everything is the exact same besides the color. So if you guys are wondering if they're gonna fit different or anything like that, don't worry, it's all gonna be the same. I wear a size 13. My shoes, some of my shoes don't fit, but most of my stuff does fit. So if you're looking to put anything size 13 or below, you're gonna be able to fit your shoes in there. You might be able to squeak away some size 14 stuff, but it's gonna be a snug squeeze. So the box dimensions on these containers are 11 and 1 16th inches by 14 and 7 16th inches. And the height is seven and a quarter inches. Just to give you guys an example on how big these containers are, and you can measure your boxes and compare them, but they're pretty similar to a sneaker box size. So if you haven't seen the methods on how to protect your collection, protect your sneakers, and how to stack and organize your collection, please check out the video above because that will definitely help you out. And these definitely do play a good factor in the whole organization method. But for right now, we're gonna get back to my opinion on that. So let's get back to the collection. Let's talk a little bit over there and I'll see you guys in a minute. So as you guys can see, the containers really aren't that different besides obviously the light intake, as you would say. Me personally, I think that it's better to have the clear ones just because it makes the room more bright and it makes it more white kind of looking and it just it's more like welcoming you know what i'm saying it brings out the color in the sneakers and i don't know I, I have a lot of dark shoes so maybe that's another reason why as well as you can tell a lot of my shoes are pretty dark so if i have black containers with darker sneakers in there i don't know if it will really look that good so me personally I know I have the clear ones and I will be purchasing some black ones. I think what I'm gonna do with the black ones is go real specific. So everything that I do with like Nike ID or like special, you know, customs that I have like received or like just any like really, really something curated to me, those are gonna go in the black containers and I'm gonna put those kind of like on their own little separate special wall. So I did order a six pack of the black containers. I will be using these. And I'm, I'm assuming I'll probably buy some more on the next discounted sale or whatever it is. But when they have the next sale, I promise you I will be getting some more clear ones on that day because I have a lot more boxes to fill out. And I just don't want to mix up the black and the clear together on the same wall. Now I can do two different walls. That's perfectly fine with me. So let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this helped you figure out which one you needed to pick of the two and if you want to get rid of summer and I was like hey I bought some I could just put them back in the boxes because I kept the boxes that they shipped in I could put them back in the boxes and return them and get the black ones but they were on sale so I had to put a cash back so like those are the kind of things that people be thinking about like I don't know if you think that's a good idea go do it me personally i'm like hey just buy some more we keep getting more i don't know i know everybody doesn't have the funds to do that so i can't just say that loosely but that's what i would do <laughs> so yes uh i hope you guys enjoyed this thank you thank you thank you for watching stay tuned for the next video and like i said before hit me up on instagram shoot me a dm let me see your collection i want to see your containers all stacked up looking so sexy in the room i want to see the kicks on the wall i know you feel good when you display them like that you take that dope picture on instagram so send me that shot and i'm gonna feature you in the next video because i have another one coming up i'm trying to hit up tell and tag the container store tell them to go ahead and sponsor this video because I'm telling you right now, man, <laughs> I got plenty more shoes to fill out these boxes and they could go ahead and send me like a hundred more containers and I guarantee you I'll fill them things up. So, uh, <laughs> like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'm going to see y'all later. Bro, what the? Damn it. I walked back into the studio, my bad. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to go this way. Because every time I walk that way, it takes me to the studio. So 